Patreon of Jevo today and receive a ton of perks including Discord roles, early access content, private support channels, code snippets, and more. Join today at patreon.com slash jevajs. Alright, what is up guys? I'm Zul from uh, Jeva today. We're going to be, um, we're going to be, uh, using server and client-sided exports. I'm going to be showing you how to create them and use them in any resource you want. So, for this, uh, I have two, um, I have two, uh, resources that I'm using. This is, I call the it EXP because, uh, it's a short for exports. And we're going to be also making a resource called Exports Test to show how it works across different resources so I'm gonna have I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I, I this link is in the description you're gonna need it for probably the manifest but uh, yeah so I'm gonna put this off to the side and let's get started so let's go into our server let's go into our resources and uh, create two resources called exp and then the other one's gonna be called exp test Okay, and you only need this if you're only just trying to make an export. But if you're trying to use them, you could just I'm calling this resource exp test. It can be used in any of these resources you want, but I'll be showing you how to call them through exp test. So I'm gonna go into exp, and um, actually for that I'm gonna go into our resources.cfg, and I'm gonna be showing you that um, uh, we're gonna be hit. so I already have exp test. Op or started before exp so I'm gonna, uh, right up here I'm gonna under libs I guess we can put uh, start uh, exp so pretty much what we're doing here is that the the exports where it's opened at I'm pretty sure it has to be opened before or I, I am yeah it has to be opened uh, before uh, exp test unless I'm getting confused with um, somewhat something else like uh, using the MySQL library but I, I'm pretty sure it, if you're using clients or if you're using exports it has to, the where you're making the export it has to be uh, started before the the export or before the resource or after the resource that you're using it with so I have this res I have this started here and after it's gonna where we're calling it it's started over here so I'm gonna close that out I'm going to resource go back to exp I'm gonna be creating a um, resource Lua take my headphones off because I really don't even need them um, so here, I'll actually just be creating the files that we need for this so I'm gonna be calling this client uh, .lua, and then another file called server .lua. oops well, I'll just change this back to just Lua and um, yeah this is like again this is our um, where we're actually creating the export so I'm gonna go into the resource .lua. this is kind of the uh, actually before that I'm just gonna be going into the client .lua and doing that from there uh, I'm gonna open this into a uh, workspace here just so we have everything sorry about my computer fan it is dying like always so I'm gonna start off with the client .lua and uh, I'll be showing you how these exports will work in other resources so for the sake of time, I'm just going to be copying these two um, functions from the GitHub code. Uh, pretty much, this is just a simple function. We've written this so many times uh, in our previous videos. This notify little thing and this chat. We've written this in our first episode, but um, before we did add message uh, in a deprecated in a deprecated way. Um, this is the new version to write. Um, chat uh, chat messages if you want a video on that I, I'll tell you but for now I'm just gonna be calling or I'll, I'm just gonna be calling this chat uh, th just through this function just for copy and paste like again I'll put the code in the description below but I'm just doing this to show you guys now there's one more function which I'm gonna write with you guys because it's different all you do is write exports and this is a function pretty much we're gonna call this function client uh, underscore log and then this has a callback of, uh, with a string um, and then end it so pretty much what we're doing in here is um, printing 
enter the client console, which is the F8 menu thing. We're gonna do that, and that should uh, that should work. So uh, now what we're gonna want to do is go into the resource.lua, and um, this is where we're actually gonna be exporting. Ah, wait, never mind. We have to. Uh, I'm gonna first go to the server.lua and complete the server.lua. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. For this, uh, what I wrote for this is just a simple little function. Uh, that's going to be logging to the um, the uh, server console so I guess it's a little helpful for errors I guess I don't know but uh, server exports must be used in the server scope or right, yeah and client um, client exports have to be used in a client scope so uh, I'll be showing you how we define those through the resource .lua, which is the important part so I'm gonna have a resource manifest version I usually I'm doing this one because this is what I did when I wrote it um, it's good to have them in there just in case you use some natives that um, that require this manifest version so yeah uh, I'm gonna be creating a client underscore script and we're gonna be linking it to client client dot lua I spelled that right and then uh, we're gonna have a server script called server dot lua just like that um, now what we're going to want to do is export the functions so as you notice these are all functions here you don't actually need to export this so we're just going to not this already this function exports already to the uh, global scope so it'll work in any resource without defining it in the resource.lua of this resource so to actually do that we're going to do exports um, what's it called exports I, I'm going to do this in a table so just like that exports uh, notify in fact, I'll actually show you the uh, thing that we're doing here. So this function right here, you're only exporting the names, or you're only putting the, no, the, the what's it called, the name of the function in here. So notify is one of them, notify, and then the other one is chat, because these are the two functions. This already gets already to the global scope, so that's fine with that. Now to actually do a um, server export, all you do is just server underscore export you can do that and have one singular uh, function but um, I'm just gonna do server exports in an array or in a table and I'm gonna be putting this on the other side I guess we can do that too that's fine I can never mind well I server exports uh, we just do log since we only have one export like again I'm, you can put as many as you want I guess um, I'm just doing this just to show you guys how the, this works so pretty much it's all set up oh I actually didn't finish uh, writing this function here I just kind of wrote it. Uh, just yeah, we're just gonna pass in a print. I guess I just uh, skipped that over, but yeah. So now we're uh, we're done with this resource. .lua. I'm gonna go into the exp. I'm gonna close out of that and open up exp test. And um, just give me a second. I'll open up the code, uh, my code editor here, uh, just to this workspace. So I'm gonna add a new file called client. .lua. Actually. Um, I'm going to be creating a, I'll just do it through here just so you guys can see. So I'm going to create a folder called commands just to show you um, a different way of writing uh, resource.lua's uh, resource.lua obviously in the root of the direct, or root of the resource. I'm going to be creating, actually yeah, in here I'm going to be creating um, one called uh, client underscore test.lua and then Another one called server uh, underscore test dot lua. Okay, so pretty much when we do that, um, I'll show you how this works. So we're gonna go into the resource dot lua. Um, yeah, you can see it's already through here. Uh, in here, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a variable called local commands directory, which is equal to commands because that's what we call this folder here and I'll show you how to join the strings together in a resource.lua people think that the resource.lua has to have like a specific syntax it does it has to follow syntax but it's uh, you can also do a bunch of like variables people think you can't do that stuff but you can so I'm gonna do client underscore script um, is uh, a f it's technically a function uh, it works like that so I'm gonna do commands directory. I'm gonna join this string uh, with what we're in here. So in here we're gonna have a. Um, I'll actually put the slash here. 
but in here we're gonna have uh, the two files which are client test.lua um, I don't want to use quotes I'll show you another way of writing uh, strings in Lua just two bra braces brackets whatever they're called just like that so we're joining this commands directory to this Lua file and then we're gonna do the same thing for the server script and then uh, we're gonna call it um, server test.lua and just like that that'll work so in the client test.lua oh and also forgot uh, we're gonna be doing a um, another way or another good thing to write when you're uh, writing for this is to if it, if your resource requires any dependencies I haven't done this before but uh, it's a good practice to get into so just write in depend I'm just gonna copy it because I, I always spell dependencies wrong so just like that um, write dependencies and then this is a table and then the only dependency we're using here is exp if you remember that's what we called this resource back here that's it, it has we're gonna make it uh, be dependent on uh, this resource to be functioning correctly. So in the client uh, test.lua, um, I'm going to be creating a command uh, register command. Um, ex I'm going to call it exports underscore client, and then this requires uh, this is a callback. Oh God, function source. Sorry about that. I am not the best typer. Source and args and then end it. I'm gonna be concatenating it. Uh, the the table. So I'm gonna be calling it args string is equal to table dot concat uh, args and then every table there's gonna be a space or every you know every argument there's gonna be a space. So now to actually call it. Uh, with using the parameters, so if you remember, we're actually let me go back here. I'll actually show you um, uh, in here for the client because we're in the client test, like we declared it in here. Um, did I do that right? Okay, yeah. So we are in the client um, scope, so we can use any of these functions that we exported. So I'm gonna do x to actually call the exports. You have to do exports dot um, the resource name that you're using, so exports.exp, and then a uh, colon, and then type in the function name. So mine's notify, notify, and then the string, which you can see that it's using string. Um, I'm gonna say, I, in fact, I'll just do arg string. Now we can just keep doing that for the rest, um, these other ones. So uh, I'm gonna do client underscore log uh, chat. So you're gonna see that it does work with the parameters. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the that's pretty much what we're doing for the client side. And so that's pretty much how you call it. And the, it's it's very similar to the server sided scope. So let's go ahead and do the server sided scope. So I'm just gonna copy this, go into here, paste it into this function just to show you. Now uh, I'm gonna call this exports underscore uh, server. Run the server test out Lua, and um, I'm gonna change this to uh, where did I go? As you remember, it says log, so I'm gonna change this to log because that's the only available export that we made for that. So this will theoretically output into the server console and the chat. It should. Um, I'm just thinking if it should, but yeah. Let's. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys in the server. Let's see how this uh, looks like now. All right. So I'm in the server now, and uh, sorry about the computer dying. Okay. So the commands that we made are following. What is it? Exports. We'll do export server first. So slash exports underscore server. You're gonna see that the argument uh, will say like hello. Hello console. Uh, yeah, so it says it up here, and you can see that down here it says hello console right there, uh, outputted there for you. And uh, now we're gonna do exports uh, underscore client. We're gonna say uh, hey guys, uh, it's it's me Zua Cat from Java. So you can see that it says exported 
right there, Zua from Java, it says that too. The reason it says exported, I just made that function that we copied from my GitHub or the Java GitHub. I made this prefix exported. You can literally get rid of it and um, call it a day. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that the that's the prefix right there for the args for the new, uh, not new, but um, the modern, I guess, way of doing the chat add messages to it. And you can see that uh, it, you know, it set it in there. It set it on the notify thing right there. And then F8, it says, hey guys, it's me, Zua from Jeva. So yeah, that works. Um, if you guys want more videos, please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later.